Hello, my name is Johnny Boozer. I am the owner of Extreme Guide Stormland and the creator of this series, Making the Perfect Line, uh, which is about three guides and their winter adventures, whether we were guiding clients on tours, finding new areas to ride in Wyoming, or just skiing in the backcountry. I've been filming and editing since I was a kid. Uh, I started out with two VCRs and a Sony Walkman to dub in the music. And I mean, whether it was I mean, hanging out with buddies or it was a school project, it always seemed something was extreme to me. Well, I, I grew up in Wisconsin in a little town called Winnie County, just outside of Oshkosh. And I moved to Wyoming to study agriculture. And in 98, I hooked up with some buds in Riverton, Wyoming. And we started snowmobiling in the backcountry. They kind of introduced me into it. And we actually helped make the first sled net. Yeah, it's my original claim to fame. I'm an old original. Tell you what, when I'm not dreaming of snowmobiling, I mean, it really is my most passionate hobby. Uh, I make a living as a professional cowboy. Now, no rodeos or stuff like that. I just, I care for cattle, whether I'm uh, herding, doctoring, or uh, shipping them for market. I uh, usually sometimes work with another partner. If you're doctoring a lot of cattle, uh, one guy heads, another guy heals. And basically, you're just in charge of keeping uh, the herd healthy. Uh, or sometimes you're just watching cattle and you're just spending a lot of time by yourself. What I like about cowboy is it's the big country. The same reason I like snowboarding and I like doing everything else, you know, that involves the outdoors and big country. And I never want to feel like I'm trapped, so I guess maybe that's why. Now I like to cut up a little bit more. Give him just a little extra. He just kind of boosts for me. And then we finish the last leg high. Well, your horses, but I don't hear any cow. Moses, spin. <laughs> Holy moly, I'm dizzy, Moses. Holy mackerel. Are you dizzy? That's kind of our cheap entertainment of cowboy drugs. I like it when it's shipping season and uh, it's time to gather up all your stuff, pack it up, and head to hunt season. I guide elk, deer, uh, moose, and bear. And I really enjoy that because I, I like to hunt. And when you're a guide, you get to, you get to hunt a lot of different things. I once heard that cowboying was like the lowest pain and highest risk job, but I've done worse. I started becoming a snowmobile guide six years ago, and a year after that I started Extreme Guide snowmobiling, basically because uh, the lodges weren't advertising and I needed a way to help advertise. Uh, so I brought in Mikey Inman, and together we started Extreme Guide snowmobiling, which we run out of two lodges, uh, Crooked Creek Guest Ranch, which was our first home of operation, and then we continued to uh, expand to Lava Mountain Lodge which is right there on Highway 26, so it was nice to have a home base right on the highway before you go anywhere. Uh, it's, being a guide has really allowed me to snowmobile 90 days out of the year, rather than just on the weekends. And that's brought me into finding new areas, secret plow stashes, and just bringing a riding level that I wouldn't say is super extreme anymore because I'm old. I'm not old, but I'm old enough to know better now. And it's just brought to a new, whole new level, whereas I can actually come home safe every time and also bring my clients home safe with having the extremest uh, ride that they want to have.
Jeff Palmer has a very kind heart as well. Um, very full of information and uh, I would trust him anywhere in the backcountry. Even if he didn't know where he was at, I really think that Jeff Palmer could find his way out of anything. Uh, he is a certified wilderness trainer uh, and and just a just a great guy to be around. I got to thank those guys the most because they are the backbone of this operation. Mike is uh, learning to host. Jeff is filming, and between the two of them, they are just coming up with so many ideas to do these episodes. And you know, every day is a new adventure, and it's not always that way. Um, we're always trying to find new areas and uh, and do new things not always about uh, finding the biggest jump I think it's about finding the it, it's it's finding the ultimate loop you know the you know how far can you go into the backcountry off one trail and come back and I think that's our biggest challenge and I think every day uh, the three of us work on that Practicing, boys. You get there.